I mean, you can lie to me a little bit, though. But then how would you grow as a person? <laughs> but telling me I'm a bad jazz singer doesn't make me grow as a person. It just makes me sad. I know. But it was funny to me. It didn't make me laugh, but it was just like a little bit of a chuckle inside my head. So you're saying is you're an asshole. Yes. Anyway, welcome to the <laughs> Lucky 13 podcast. Oh, shit. Are we starting? Hi, guys. <laughs> welcome to the Lucky 13 podcast. It's me, Ben. Oh, are you Are you ready to go? Are you good? Oh, so you're fucking lying to me. Uh, the, man, the man giving me a fucking speech about, oh, oh, you're making me feel like a fucking dickhead. You know, fuck you. I mean, I can always restart again. I was just making sure you're good to go. Yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. Yeah, but uh, anyway, welcome to Lucky 13 Podcast. Uh, with me, as always, is my wonderful, delicious, delectable friend over here. What's your name? You didn't You didn't. Oh, I didn't introduce yourself. my name. Holy fuck. Man, maybe I should just restart because now I'm looking like an idiot. <laughs> I don't got my phone open with my notes or nothing. God, here I am with my bottle of water and my fucking phone on the fucking standby ready to go. And you ain't got shit. Look, man, it's been rough. All right. I don't even hear it. By the way, I'm Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jacob. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. And who are you? Ben. Ben. Did, uh, we, did we restart or? No, I'm just going with it. Okay, fuck it. Let's just go. What? What? what it's October. It's October. Uh huh. We're at the end of the month of the spookies. Pretty Damn, close. we're on the twenty. Right now, it's the twenty fourth. So wait, is it the twenty fourth? Yeah, it's the twenty fourth. Oh wow, it's way later in the month than I thought it was. Yeah, like the, we miss so much in October, but that's yeah. fine. Yeah, I um, guess. I guess to start. I guess I should start off with that because we did have to take a little bit of a break. Yeah, I had personal hangups and we couldn't like get in person to record. And then we try to record through Discord, and oh, shit, man, that, <laughs> that was bad. That was just diarrhea, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was bad. I mean, like, it's you can kind of hear it, but it's just, nah, Discord just said, no, Ben doesn't get to participate. So it's basically like me talking to just pixelated you for, like, an hour and a half. <laughs> and it's 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 not good. Maybe one day I'll throw it out there as like a, a bonus thing or something, but I was like I can't upload that. That's hot trash. Yeah. We we do have some some quality control. We do have some quality control. Yeah. Even though uh I didn't forgot to bring a mic stand, so I'm literally holding my mic like I'm I'm Ryan Seacrest on America's Got Talent. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just recently watch America's Got Talent? Why why did that image pop in your head? You know, honestly, I don't know. I just think I just know he does a lot of like radio and podcasting. For some reason, I was like celebrity, celebrity, celebrity. Uh, yeah, okay, and that's just <laughs> what I went with. But uh, but yeah, so I guess a little bit of apology on our part. Uh, yeah. for just mostly Jacob's fault. He mostly my fault. Yeah, yeah, that's almost entirely my fault. Thanks, Ben. Way to be a team. Um, but yeah, uh, October's almost over, man. <sighs> Thank God. <sighs> I. <laughs> you make me so mad about this you really do yeah i, I well why, why does it make you mad like well just because like it's i just feels like there's no reason for it that you that you dislike it so much because like every time we've talked about it, even on the lost episode which it will henceforth be called the lost episode like it was just like i don't like it so i don't like it like well you know i i i feel like i'm the, I'm the grinch of halloween you know and I guess like, that's fine if that's what you want to own it as. But even people people don't like the Grinch. Well, people like the Grinch. My sister likes the Grinch. You know, she loves. She fucking loves the Grinch. That's cringe. <laughs> <laughs> don't call my sister cringe. <laughs> to, and she's based in my eyes. Oh uh, yeah, she's pretty based. She's pretty based. But uh, <laughs> now she likes the Grinch. That's pretty cringe. Uh, but, but so I don't know. I mean, I I won't stick. To, I won't stick on this too long. But like, I don't know. It's just it's just interesting to me. How dead said you are on like nothing. There's nothing good about Halloween. I, uh, I, okay. I I recognize the good things of Halloween. I I understand it. I understand why people like it. But to me, it's just I don't understand what's the big, what's the big deal. You know, I'm not trying. All right, thanks Seinfeld. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you want to talk? You can talk to me about airline food later. <laughs> how they don't give you peanuts on on Spirit flights anymore. What? What? Anyway, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I just don't get it. I really don't. Ah, see, because like just like just yesterday, um, mm. for a a friend, a friend of my brother's, they have a kid, so we went trunk or treating, because you know, like it's still COVID pandemic time, so trunk or treating's kind of whatever. So, but we were out on um, his actual like elementary school on the blacktop in, out of their car, mm. and like all these kids come through, and they're all in their costumes, and I don't know, there's just something so wholesome about like kids Halloween that like. I just can't understand not getting into it and not liking it. 
It just seems so fun to me. Well, I think maybe to me, I think the biggest probably influence was just never going trick or treating. That's you know, myself. if you really missed out on that, I think that I could. But see, I could understand being indifferent then, but not disliking. I, I, again, I don't dislike it. It's just I don't. I, I don't get it. <laughs> I, I do not get it. I don't mm. understand what's the big fascination with Halloween. On well, the problem is that you're too old to take trick or treating now, unless like one of us had a kid and we were taking them, uh-huh. and even then it wouldn't be the same thing. Yeah, because I'm not difference. getting the candy. Yeah, you're not getting the candy. You're not getting excited about it. Yeah. You know, although it was kind of funny. So, so uh, you've seen it, but uh, my brother has a Captain America outfit, like a really expensive, like well oh, put yeah. together one. Oh yeah. And uh, of course, uh, his friend's kid is a child. He's like three. So he fucking loves superheroes, right? Mm-hmm. He loves it. So like that was what why we got dragged into it because he wanted Captain America to come with him for Halloween yeah. again. Um, but it's kind of funny because there's other people, other parents there with their kids taking them trunk or treating. And there was one guy who was Thor, mm. but he wasn't just Thor. And you wouldn't know this because you don't like watch Marvel movies. Nope. But there's a, ver- you know who Thor is in general though, right? Yeah. 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 yeah he's the guy with the hammer, right? And he has like <laughs> the lightning powers. Yeah. Yeah. So in one of the Marvel movies, um, there's a special variation of Thor called fat Thor. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. You've seen him. So there's a guy who came to the school with his kid or whatever as Fat Thor. Mm-hmm. And so he has this big beer belly. And but, he, but was it like a costume beer belly? Or no, was that his real belly? That was his real belly. <laughs> he's, he has this big belly and he has like this really long shaggy hair and the sunglasses. Like he's dressed like Fat Thor and he has a hammer. And as he's like walking down, he like spots my brother in his Captain America outfit. And he's like a co-worker and he's like making a big deal. And you know my brother, he's a bit of a, a little bit of an introvert. So he was a me like, oh no, <laughs> oh no, dude, don't come talk to me, please. <laughs> but anyway, so we're like near the end of the lap of the circuit. Mm-hmm. So by the time this dude laps around, we've already forgotten about him. And then he comes by and he's like, well, Captain America, doing the whole spiel. And then he holds out his hammer and he's like, are you worthy of holding Mjolnir? Because that's the thing with Mjolnir is if you aren't worthy to hold it, it you can't pick it up it just falls to the ground yeah and it's it's stuck there and in the movies captain america eventually becomes worthy of holding mjolnir so yeah. he's like you know can you hold it and admittedly i thought this was just a cheap crappy like hammer it looked it looked like garbage it looked bad um but what my brother proceeded to tell me afterwards was like oh my god that like because he he actually held it and what he told me was it was really, really heavy <laughs> because it was made out of solid metal. What? It was a solid metal hammer he had brought. And so what we were joking about was this dude's shtick is probably to go around and get other people in Marvel costumes to hold his hammer, not realizing it's solid metal. So when they grab it, it just goes kaplunk straight to the <laughs> ground and to like be like, oh, shit. <laughs> But yeah, he, my brother told me that he was he almost ran away because this guy was he knew he was going to come looking for him because mm-hmm. <laughs> he was like the only other person adult in like a real like good Marvel costume. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Halloween is fun to me because you can have fun interactions like, like that. But whatever. You don't you just don't get it. You just don't get it. I just don't get it. You know what? There's some people that just don't like things. Well, I, I, again, I, 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 I don't dislike it. I just want to make that perfectly clear. If you like Halloween, that's cool. That's great. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Good for you. Mm-hmm. I just, I just, I, I don't understand. Mm-hmm. That is my only. So you hate it. N- n- again, <laughs> do, I, do I have to repeat myself? God damn it. <laughs> no, no, I get it. I'm just giving you shit, man. I'm just giving you shit. But anyway, so Ben, I, I got to ask the, the, the question I always got to ask at the start of these. Sure. How you been? God fucking you know what let's just we're, we're gonna call it see you guys next week <laughs> no come on come on come on how have i been mm-hmm. i mean i only have one experience to share yeah yeah you were i i heard a little bit about this yeah i don't know how, if you wanted to talk about it or not but i don't know if we're talking about the same exact thing but the thing was, you texted me yesterday about no no <laughs> no oh, no okay so what were you, okay where you want to talk to me about? it was just a it was just a small interaction it's not even a huge deal but it um so i went to in and out right and the, oh, ooh, the great legendary in and out. Yeah, the great legendary in and out. And uh, I went to the cashier's window in my car, right? Mm-hmm. And the lady who I gave my credit card to. She, Didn't you talk about this? Yes, on, I did. Yeah, I talked about okay. it recently. Sorry, on go the, on, go on, go on. On Twitch. By the way, hit up twitch.tv forward slash uh, resource underscore 13. Catch me live. <laughs> uh, anyway. So anyways, I give her my credit card, right? 
And she hands it back to me with a receipt. And the receipt is fucking sopping wet. Ugh. It is just completely like soaking wet. Uh-huh. And I was like, thank you. Oh, Thanks. yeah, because you're a bit of a germaphobe, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and in the back of my mind, um, I actually know you and your brother have a little bit of a kerfuffle with this issue, right? <laughs> so what had happened? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, know if yeah, you want to yeah. talk about this, but uh-huh. uh, so she had just like recently washed her, like she had literally washed her hands uh-huh. and she just didn't dry them like correctly. Mm-hmm. So that's why the paper was sopping wet. But I was thinking in the back of my mind, oh, this is so gross, but she had just washed her hands, but I just, I just couldn't mm-hmm. fight the urge to just like, oh, I can't touch my bag, but. I knew she just washed her hands, Mm -hmm. but I just found it so gross. And the reason why I found it so gross and why we'll come back to to you. Yeah, it's my story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, Is she didn't follow proper hand washing procedure because you first need to properly wash your hands. Yeah. And you need to properly end that procedure by, you know, giving them a good dry. Dry them off. Yeah. Yeah, Because if you can't dry them off properly, that tells me that you haven't followed step one correctly. Which is to properly wash them, and that is my that is my argument. See, okay, all right. I guess we're gonna get into this now. Because all right, so what he's referring to? Because I know my brother's listening, so he's gonna be like, "Here we go." He already knows what's coming. So I had I got into this argument a couple times with my brother. Yeah, um, I was there to witness them. Yeah, you were witness a couple of them. But like, so there's been situations where I've gone to go wash my hands because whatever, you know, maybe I'm going to the bathroom. You know, maybe we're gonna go eat, whatever. And then I wash my hands, you know, soap, water, the whole shebang. Mm-hmm. Uh, even do it the proper way where you wash, like, the back, like, the nuckies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But like, you do it for 20 seconds under warm water? Yes, actually, I do do that. Okay. I've gotten into the habit of doing that. All right. Um, but so, and then I'll just grab, like, a rip, like, I'll rip off a paper towel, and then I'll go to dry my hands. But I won't quite get all of it, you know? It, it happens, right? Like, yeah. you, you just kind of move, and you're kind of doing stuff. And then I'll end up, like, touching him or, like, like touching his hand or, like, give him a high five or, like mess with him and like touch him or whatever and he'll raise such a kerfuffle about like my hands being wet after washing them and i understand how that can be how that can come across poorly right like if someone just went to the bathroom their hands are a little wet Mm -hmm. because like it's like oh did you pee in your hands or something you know what (laughs) i mean like i I, I get how that connection could be made right but to me it's like i'm your brother Mm-hmm. I just wash my hands. Do not think I'm I'm a cleanly enough person to actually wash my hands. Uh-huh. I don't know. Like I can understand a stranger. I totally understand like a stranger, right? Because right. you don't know anything about that person. Yeah. But if like I'm like your friend or your brother or whatever, like you can't give me the benefit of the doubt of like no, my hands are clean. But like I got one ply like paper towel, so you know it's it just does what it does. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Or like I'm just going quick and I just happen to miss like the back of my wrist or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's my only like huge like ugh, really, really, because yeah. I I did challenge him one time when I was just like, oh, like, like like we got in a little bit of a tiff about it, but I don't know. It just bothered me. It's just like I'm your brother, man. Come on. But I mean, germs don't really care. But I just washed my hands. But I mean, again, you know, you didn't you didn't follow proper procedure. The proper procedure is it's fully dry. I don't have like one of those like like air dryer things in well, my Well, you don't bathroom. you don't need air dryer. You just got you yeah, I know it's one ply, then you get another ply and you you double look, it up. Okay, look, if you rip off like a like a like a like two squares of like paper towel, right? Like they're two yeah. rectangles, right? Like that to me is like a good size, right? Yeah. You pull that off, it's just enough to dry your hands but not like wasting a bunch. Uh-huh. And you like wipe off your hands and then you toss in the trash, right? Yeah. And then you've already left and then you realize, "Oh, I didn't get the back of my hands or whatever. Like I just missed a little bit." Are you then going to proceed to turn around and walk back in? Well, it depends how severe the damage is, you know. If it's just like a little damp, is it really worth it? Or well, you just if it's on slightly with like moist or damp, you know, I, guess, I suppose it's not a big deal. Then I just start air drying. Yeah, exactly. My hands. That's what I'm saying. You but just did air dry. You, but do you air dry your hands? Yes, I air dry. Do you shake them out. You give them the good old like I mean, shake and bake. I guess so. Yeah, I don't really think about it. You just kind of do it. You know. Mm. I don't know. I just it's not something I devote like more than two percent of my brain power on. You know. Mm. And I mean, apparently humans only use ten, so that's already a lot as it is. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a lot. Yeah, I don't, I'm not very good at math, but I think that's like, like we're getting close to a quarter, fifth, fifth. Yeah, yeah, that's. You are so easy. bad at math. I don't understand why this is such a, a constant problem for you. Math is hard. Okay, there's numbers and there's a lot of things I gotta that get involved. Mm-hmm. 
but uh but anyway what so did you want to talk about the other thing that happened or no that was it that was it oh <laughs> my month's been pretty boring <laughs> yeah well, it's funny you leave me out for a month uh that's the best story i got for you it's i don't have a wet receipt else. see now what i'm wondering though is What's did up? you see her wash her hands like, did you know for a fact that's I, what it was? I, 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 I did see her wash her hands, yes. Okay, because I was thinking, too, it could also be, like, the condensation from, like, your drink or something. Because that has well, totally no, happened be, to because me. Because it, it was the cashier's window. Oh. Yeah. She, there was no way. It's on the other side of the building. So. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I've totally gone to, like, like through a drive through and the receipt kind of ends up wrapped around the drink. Or yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. to me, like, that's not even, like... No, she dead-ass handed me my credit <laughs> card soaking wet. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> See, I, th- I think too from a from a fast food restaurant. I also th- I can also see that being kind of gross. No, yeah. you know, because like, yeah, she just washed her hands, but I don't know. Like, I'll eat the food here, but it's still kind of gross here. Well, luckily she didn't hand me like the bag sopping wet, because then would I would have been the pissed. Me. Yeah, yeah. Actually, um, me and my family we had a wing stop the other day, mm. and they did the cardinal sin to me of of when you put stuff in in like a bag right because we got one of those big bags because there's like four of us so we got like you know a decent amount of wings they put the they put the 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 hot wings on the bottom Hmm. and to me this is the cardinal sin because i don't know if you realize this but like there's a lot of liquid that accumulates in the bottom of the of the hot one because all the sauce and stuff yeah so the moment that bag got tipped a little bit the entire (laughs) thing was just <laughs> soaked with like this hot sauce, yeah. and that was sitting on my lap. Ooh. Yeah, oh, I was kind of mad. I was like, "Really? Damn." Yeah, and it got all over like our sauces, like like our dipping sauce and everything. Oh, I was pretty mad about it. Damn. So I guess you could say you had some hot pants on you that day. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like and subscribe. <laughs> Please, not for that. We, let us try a little bit harder to get your like and subscribe than that. Well, you know. Uh, I think we 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 covered this last time on the Discord chat, but since we kind of have to repeat ourselves a little bit, yeah, uh, and we're still in the final moments of the spookiness. Mm-hmm. I kind of wanted to talk about like maybe creepy things. Oh yeah, like what? Like, um, do you have any 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 creepy stories? Some ghost stories? Some? I do have paranormal happenings. Maybe it's not technically paranormal. It's a little. It's a little real. Okay, it's well, a little real. Well, let's, we'll stay in the realm of creepy. Okay, so, okay, yeah. okay, we'll, okay. We'll do that. Do you got a creepy one thing you like to share then? Are uh, we ta- are we officially doing creepy stories? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, we'll, do, well, well let's do some creepy stories, guys. Let's, okay, okay. What do you I'm got a, for me? What do you got for me? Well, you go first because I have to think about mine. <laughs> I hate you so much. Yeah. I just told you mine's real. Um, That's fine. Real's fine, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so this was like maybe, God, it was a long time ago that I'm thinking about it. Maybe like. Is it te- maybe 10 years ago? Yeah, maybe 10 years ago. But anyway, it was, um, I was in the house that we had moved, we had like, we had moved into and uh, it was actually Halloween. It was Halloween night. And this is what I mean. It, it, Cause it's like real world scary, not like, Oh, ghost story scary. Mm-hmm. But, uh, we were doing like, you know, handing out candy and all that. And we had set up our porchway to be kind of like a haunted mini little haunted house. Right. Sure. And, um, some of my brother's friends were there. Some of my friends from middle school were there and we were all in costume and it was all very festive. And, uh, one of my brother's friends, uh, she's a girl named Brianna and she's, she's, she's very pretty, you know, she's very attractive, you know, she's a young high schooler. And, uh, it's important to know because we had one run in where we were all standing around, you know, taking trick or treaters and our, and our game was that we'd have, I would direct people to go all the way up to the door mm. through our little mini haunted house. And then right before they got candy, um, out of one of the sides that we had covered up, like a couple of my friends would jump out. And then next to Brianna, who's holding the candy, our, 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 you know, cause she's like the main candy bowl holder. Mm. We'd have someone in a zombie costume pretending to be like a mannequin. And then they would come alive and it would just be like an all angle attack. <laughs> You know, like a horseshoe attack, just yeah. all at once. And uh, it was a lot of fun, and we had a lot of scares. It was a good time. And then at one point, this guy walks up to me, because I'm being, like, the main director. And I always remember it. he's in a Bob Marley costume. But he, like, he has, like, that Rastafarian hat with, like, the dreads on it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's wearing it backwards. So the dreads are coming over his face. Oh, okay. So I can't see him. I have no idea who this guy is. I have no idea, like, roughly how old he is. I don't even think he was with a kid. I think he was just out being a weirdo. Uh-huh. And anyway, so he comes up to me and he's like grumbling at me. He's like at me. And I'm like, what? He's like, and then he kind of like points over 
at, at Brianna, our friend. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> and then he starts walking over and I'm just like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. And then, uh, you know, he walks over to Brianna. He like beelines right for her. And I wasn't there to hear it. But what I had heard was that Brianna was immediately freaked out and starts like offering some candy. Like, hey, you want some, want some candy? You know, like happy Halloween. And then he dead ass in his deepest voice goes, really? Because you look like the candy. What the fuck? And it's like, and uh, uh, my brother, he's in the zombie costume next to her. And he told me that like, he didn't know what was going to happen. If he was going to like stab or kidnap her. But he's like, if I pretend to be a mannequin, <laughs> <laughs> if I pretend to be a mannequin and just, you know, at least I could be a witness for her murder trial. Oh my God. And he freaked out. All of us out. Brianna was done after that. Like almost the whole operation was shut down after that. But yeah. eventually he went away and we all regrouped and we were like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> what just happened? And then pretty much Halloween was done for us. Yeah. Or it was pretty much done. Like it was, it was, it was scary, but it was like real world scary. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Not quite paranormal, but like, I think still thematic. Oh yeah. That fits. That definitely fits. It's a great story. You know, yeah. uh, what was the the aftermath? What happened to Bob Marley after that? He just walked away. He just he just like he stood there a little bit longer, still eyeing her. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if you can eye her, eye her up right through the right yeah. through the through the through the the hair. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I forgot what they were called. Um, but you know, just eyeing her up and Brianna got real because she's also in like one of like a sexy poison ivy costume. Mm -hmm. So she's like really like you know like she's like she's pulling off the look. And so poor, poor thing. I think traumatized her forever. Oh God. That's, that's just, it's just creepy. Right. And uncomfortable. Uh, I did say creepy though. So yeah. Still fits. Yeah. I don't. And I, ever since then, we never actually have done like a, like a, a Halloween like thing at our house. Like we'll give out candy, but like, that's like it. Yeah. That was the last time we decorated out the outside of our home for it too. I mean you don't have anything up this year no we don't we never really do anything for it like that really ruined everybody's experience <laughs> Man, that just really killed them it, 10 years ago yeah i know right all, the, that's when the fun ended like we'll decorate the inside of the house but nah outside everybody can just go away <laughs> 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 we could go we'll just go away i don't even think we're giving out candy this year really that's because my parents are old and they don't want to bother anymore yeah. I, I don't blame them and that's too much effort on my end yeah quick aside we also don't give out candy never really? have never have really yeah does your sister or your brother nope. No, nobody, no, nobody, no one, no one does. Yeah, that's just See, our family. I was gonna make the same joke that I, I made on the last episode about TPing, mm. but uh, yeah, no one does that. Mm -mm. No, nope. no one made TPs houses. Nope, no one TPs houses. Uh, why is that a thing then? Why was that a thing? Yeah, why is it like a thing that's like in like our Halloween like lexicon? I don't really know. It's almost like Christmas with Christmas carolers. Ah. Uh, oh, uh huh. No. You, do you still see Christmas caroling? Yeah. What? Yeah. We're going to get back to that on the Christmas <laughs> podcast. Remember that? <laughs> okay, yeah. No, I'm going no, to no, call bullshit course. right now, but we're going to get back to that next <laughs> in two months from now. Just you wait. <laughs> I'm going to prepare my fucking uh, lecture here. Like, all I'm saying is I know it's still a thing. But anyway. Anyway. <sighs> well, you know, well, thank you for sharing your creepy story because throughout that whole story, I was trying to think of creepy happenings that happened to me. Mm-hmm. I can't think of any. Really? I like. So you brought up this topic and you don't have anything to deliver on well, it? Well, this is where I have my fallback plan. Okay. Because I'm actually going to share creepy happenings that my shish, my, my, my shish kebab, my sister has shared with me. Mm -hmm. For some reason, she is like a hot spot for fucking. You have mentioned this to me once or twice. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. She, the happenings that have happened to her mm -hmm. are fucking insane. Mm -hmm. in which i have no reason to like, my personal opinion for like paranormal shit is just i i want to believe you know really you know that's surprising uh it's not something that i you know i'm just i'm not gonna say oh that's bullshit you know if someone oh, like, I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> and that's fair you know because it it's impossible to present evidence towards but yeah because i actually got in an argument with uh my past roommate because of, of paranormal stuff like this one oh, yeah. time yeah, because he's really into into the paranormal and all that. Like pretty hardcore, or just like... pretty hardcore. Oh, okay. Like he used to think our old apartment was haunted. Well, I shouldn't say used to. He still lives there. Um, <laughs> he he swears up and down that that apartment's haunted because he'll like like things will happen to him. Like his door will open 
swing all the way open and then just close. And then he'll like, and I'll be like out in the kitchen. He'll come out and get me like, were you messing with me and opening my door? And I go, bro, I, I this is the first time I've seen you today. What are you <laughs> on about? And he would just like have all these little stories and be like, yeah, it could be that. Or it could be our apartment building is like 80 years old and it's just a piece of shit and right. stuff is just doesn't work. I mean, when I stayed there too, and I, I can't say I've experienced anything. Yeah, no, like, yeah. like. I've been there alone too. Yeah, so. right. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. See, I just I don't know. A lot of that feels like bullshit. Yeah, but um, you know, my I I think she's pretty intelligent. You know, I'm mm-hmm. not gonna. I met her. She's yeah. she's 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 on it. Yeah. I mean, so she, she's I have no reason to doubt her, and I have no reason to believe that she's lying. I don't know what why. What would be the point? Yeah. What would be the point? Mm-hmm. So I'll share a couple cover a couple of her stories, and I actually have some evidence, quote unquote. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'll, I'll, I'll it'll be in the description of the video. But um, you know the first one I'll share is the is the uh, so we had a uh, we had a dog right, mm-hmm. and she had a a toy that had like a bell in it. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, it was just that's it, pretty it, common for dogs. Yeah, yeah, it just it just had like a, a bell. Every time you moved it, it would like ring. Yeah, it ringle a jingle jingle. Yeah, and I th- and I believe this was when I was like five four or something like that. Anyways, uh, my mom and I we were in Mexico at the time. Mm-hmm. So she was alone in the house, Mm -hmm. and I think the dog, that actual dog we had, was with her boyfriend, like staying at his house. Oh, okay. And so she was alone, completely alone in the house, Mm -hmm. and this was like late at night. Mm -hmm. We'll we'll say two in the morning. So she's at home, alone, and she was boiling some water because she had a retainer, and that's how you disinfect it. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. So she was boiling some water in the kitchen, and the dog toy was on the floor like actually we're actually in the kitchen right now so i'll point out to you jacob oh okay but it's straight up it was right next to the fridge oh okay and it's like literally just right across from the stove yeah yeah right yeah. so her back was to the dog toy yeah right and so she was at the stove kind of getting doing the water thing. to boil doing her thing and from what she remembers the dog toy was on the floor mm-hmm. right so she's doing her thing at the stove mm-hmm. you know she turns around, and the dog toy was on the table, hmm. right? Okay. And she was just like, <laughs> that's funny. Like, she she literally said that out loud, mm-hmm. and she finished up, and then she fucked off straight to bed. <laughs> and See, she, okay, I understand, but then your next move is to go to bed? I, th- I From what I understand, it's just like, I think her, the way she kind of wants to explain it is just like, all right, I was just tired. Mm-hmm. Maybe I forgot. Mm-hmm. But there's that piece of her that's just like, I sort of fucking got. I saw that on the floor, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know? So yeah. that's one of the more just like, okay, maybe, you know. Give me tingles. A little bit skeptical, but mm-hmm. you know what? I, I can understand that, sure. Mm-hmm. So also next story here, I don't know why there's like happenings here. I've never experienced it in this house before. Yeah. But for some reason, her boyfriend used to come over mm-hmm. and nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he would actually see like a dark shadow at the end of the hallway. Really? Yeah. And it, I remember he, he got so scared that he sprinted the fuck out of here. Really? Because he had to come back and pick something up from her room. And her room is at the very end of the hallway. And he saw like a dark figure Mm -hmm. at the end of it. I don't know. I haven't heard the story very well. That's all I know. And that's all he ever said. Mm -hmm. He just saw it and he booked straight the fuck out of here. See, it's so, see, stories like that, like kind of, I kind of get the little tinglys from it. Yeah. Because like also, I don't know if that's necessarily supernatural because I understand the real fear in the moment of that. Especially like, like. Oh my God! Is there somebody in the house? Mm-hmm. Because um, you totally reminded me of a story I had when I was when I was really young, and the, the old house we used to live into, we used to live in. Um, it was it wasn't in a great area. Mm-hmm. It wasn't bad by any means, but it wasn't great either. But anyway, how the house was laid out was like there was a whole front of the house, and then we had a back room. And basically, how our dad had set it up is that all all the fun stuff was in the back room, mm-hmm. and because it was kind of like our like hangout area. So like. We'd it was have, the playroom, essentially. It was the playroom, but we were a little too old for it to be a playroom. Yeah. 
So like like I'm gonna show my age here. We had like our N64 back there. Oof. We had fucking boomer. <laughs> we had like our old like dial up computer and everything back there. And like uh I think I was like in like elementary school or maybe maybe a little bit younger. But anyway, um like I would often be back there on the computer and the we had these sliding glass doors next to where the computer sat. And you know, so I would sit there and I would play <laughs> Uh, my magic school bus games on CD-ROM on a floppy disk <laughs> on floppy disk. You know, I'd load those up and I would be playing. You know, uh, Miss Frizz takes me to the inside of Arnold's asshole <laughs> <laughs> to yeah. learn about the digestive favorite, yeah. system. Yeah, my favorite. Right. I don't know how that one may have passed the sensors, but then sometimes I would get this really weird feel. You know, like when you're being watched. Yes. And I would sit there, and I'm right next to the sliding glass door. Like it's like like. I don't even have to stretch far to touch it. Like my little like like baby boy hand, like I could just go boom and like touch it from right where I'm sitting. Mm. But anyway, I always like had this weird premonition out of the corner of my eye that there'd be like a tall man standing off to my right hand side, right outside the glass. And like I would look and there'd be nothing there. And then I, you know, it would kind of unease me a little bit. Then I go back to, you know, learning about sharks or messing with rocks or whatever. But then I would, I would I would just keep getting this vibe, and it was usually around the third time, be like, "Sorry, Miss Frizz, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna need to excuse myself from this," and then I go off and do something else. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I, I I don't know I don't know if that's like a thing of that we're just like prone to see like shapes where they don't exist. Yeah, or... absolutely. That's a uh, para paradelia, I believe. Oh yeah, you yeah. know, like 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 for example, like seeing the seeing an outlet right now. Or you're an American, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But you know, it looks like a happy face, or it looks yeah, because like of the face. grounding, because the grounding pin. Yeah, that's yeah. like our brains are naturally picked out to pick out shit like that. But see, I wonder if it works for like whole human shapes too. Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> our, that's just our brain kind of needs to know that. We gotta distinguish tigers from. Everything else. <laughs> Fair, but I mean, it's just weird to me too in my in my particular instance because there was nothing else back there. Like it was just like I think it, we had like it was just like a patio. Like there wasn't like a plant that would look like a person. It was just like empty area. Right. But I always had this like out of my peripheral, just this guy. And maybe it's cause I got like the best I can describe him is that he had like kind of the silhouette of like Michael Myers. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's my overactive imagination as a kid attaching two things together. Yeah. But like, that was like the vibe it gave me and it always scared the shit out of me. I'd be sitting there trying to learn about the environment and then just fucking Michael, Mike, Michael Myers come over and just to wreck my shit, <laughs> you know? But yeah. So I don't know if I call that paranormal though. It's creepy. It's, it's definitely creepy. creepy. Yeah. I've had moments like that too. See, I don't have paranormal moments. Nothing paranormal as, as really ever happens to me. But I wonder if that's like because I'm already so convinced it's all bullshit. Mm -hmm. When something weird happens, I don't automatically assume. Yeah, I always try to think of like, oh, what's the natural like? You mm -hmm. know, what's the actual reasoning for this? You know? Yeah, like, like crazy if, shit happens in the world all yeah. the time. Well, and also <laughs> like the world is so complicated to me that like, if my door opens slowly on its own. Well, yeah, the the door is kind of warped and the hinges are kind of old and like I don't know, like I can I can see in my mind how this domino train, this domino effect, goes boom, 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 boom. Now my door is opening really slowly and dramatically. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, but I guess if you're someone who's more primed for like supernatural events, you'd be like, oh shit, there's a ghost in my house. Yeah, I think you definitely point towards shit, ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, that's true, right? But I do want to share like the final story oh, yeah, you have with, the, with the with some evidence, mm -hmm. and I actually do want to show you because I have it on my phone. Oh, really? So we'll we'll take a look at that after I I tell my story. Mm -hmm. So, uh, real quick, my sister was living in an apartment mm -hmm. for a very brief period of time, and she had a cat. Aw. And um, what was the cat's name? Mittens. Aw. Cat's name's Mittens. That's wholesome. <laughs> Not very uh, original, if you ask me, but whatever. Uh, oh, she doesn't listen to this. <laughs> anyway, uh, she was taking pictures of her cat on her phone, you know, mm -hmm. as, you, as you do with a cat. And, as uh, most do with cats. <laughs> but for some reason, she accidentally took a video, like a very short six-second video, right? Mm -hmm. And I guess she didn't realize that at the time. And this was like, <sighs> we'll say six years ago, just to kind of put some rough, time rough time rough time period mm -hmm. anyways she didn't realize it six years ago and she just took a video and you know it was, was on that. her phone she got a new phone like 
six, you know, six years later, like just recently. Mm-hmm. And she was going through the old photos that she had, and she realized she took out of the, you know, like 20 photos she took of her cat, she noticed there was one video, oh. and she played it. And it just so happened that she actually had the volume up, like way up mm-hmm. on, the, the, on the new phone, right? Mm-hmm. And she could hear something, and it was a voice. Ooh. And it was, and what the voice had said is, "You listen, here, all right." And um, again, I'm gonna post this in the vi- uh, video description. Yes, with some side- yes. subtitles, and you know, feel free to let me know in the comments what you think it was, because I, I want to show the video to you now, Jacob, and uh-huh. to see if you hear it, or maybe, maybe we were just blowing this out of proportion, and it's just like static or whatever. Give me this. Give me this. Yeah, the volume's full blast, so. Whoa! Right? Oh, okay, but it could also. I should. So. Hmm. Okay, I don't want this playing. Here you go. You can have your phone back. So you 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 tell me what's what 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 do you think? What are you thinking? See, but like, I definitely hear it. Mm-hmm. But I can't help but wonder. It kind of almost sounds like something that'd be on a TV in the background. I know, right? So that's what I was thinking, too. I was trying to figure out some way to, like, explain why. Mm -hmm. So here's my two, like... Your two cents. Here's my two cents. Mm -hmm. For for one, she told me that, even though this was, you know, six years ago, but I'll take your word for it. Mm -hmm. She remembers that the TV was not on. There was no one around. Mm -hmm. And secondly, the way that it spoke is very, very odd. Because I still believe what it's saying is... You listen here. Pause. That's a very yes. odd manner of speech, even though it's, if we could say it's, that's why I'm going to rule out it's a second person just like talking. Mm-hmm. Like, remember, this is an apartment complex. So, yes. Well, the let's cadence say, doesn't sound right for someone actually speaking. Yeah, it, it's very odd. So, I'll rule that out. So, it's got to be television or radio. I know she's not listening on radio. So. <laughs> but, so I can only assume maybe television in that specific instance. Uh, maybe it's. <laughs> She was watching some TV show that was paranormal, and that's why, although I, I just find it so incredibly odd. That's the only, def- not definitive, I still, I still, there's got to be something, right? But yeah. it's so odd. The cadence to me is so oddly paced that I'm like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. I, I, I can't really explain it. See, it, it, it makes me think a little bit, though, of like, um, oh, shit, what are they called? spirit boxes Mm -hmm. where they people set up like radios to like like get ghosts to talk out of them Mm -hmm. but people kind of attach like oh i heard him say my name well yeah it's spinning through a bunch of different stuff and you're trying to find a message in the noise yeah kind of like with the faces again but for like audio right yeah so i mean in a way i mean it could really be anything and we're just looking too much into it right like it could be the sound of a chair rubbing against the ground you know, uh, uh, yeah, uh. yeah. You know, I don't know, but I guess that's not the fun answer, though, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. Wait. But I definitely that one. That one kind of gave me a little spookies, right? Like, yeah. like I definitely hear a man's voice in that, right? You know, it's it's one of the. It's probably the only definitive. I, I still put definitive, definitive is a hard word to use. So yeah, this, isn't it? it's the only real thing that makes me say, "Hey, I want." I you know, I kind I sort of partially timidly believe you know what we should do for a video one day What's up? we should do a video where we actually go ghost hunting we'll get we'll get back to that remind okay. me to get back to that okay okay all right, all fair right. enough we'll, 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 but um, behind the scenes conversation that one no we'll, 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 i actually don't want to talk about that next oh but, okay yeah, yeah uh so yeah you know what again feel free in the comments let us let us know what you think because mm-hmm. it's we, not like a super scary one no it's, it's not, not super scary, scary. no but it's interesting. It's very interesting, I think so. And that's really the only thing that she's told me. I'm just like, oh, I don't have an explanation for you. Mm. I really don't. See, it's a problem, no. though, is six years ago. And there's, it's just it's hard to trust someone's memory from that far back. Yeah. It yeah. really is. You know, they've definitely, her and her boyfriend definitely have some fucking odd experiences. Is she a very, like, paranormally minded person, no. though? No, she's not. That's See, the crazy thing. Like, she's not religious or she's not, you know... She's not she, supernaturally like. No, she's not like. Oh man, I love ghosts. Blah 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 blah. I watch Ghost Adventures. Blah blah. <laughs> you know, it's just like, oh, that happened. Whatever. Like it doesn't like define her at all. She's not Weird. a spooky oriented person either. She doesn't. It's so weird. That's why I believe her in these things, you know, because mm. that's just not her personality. Mm. She doesn't give a fuck, <laughs> you know. 
based. So I take back my cringe comment. That's based. Well, thank you. I, I'll be sure to tell her that you called her cringe, but <laughs> retroactively took it back. So no. Honestly, I don't have any other creepy stories that are not secondhand stories. See, that's a rough. T- that's a rough thing about like telling secondhand stories too. Is you immediately lose some legitimacy. I know, but that's that. Uh, in case you're skeptical, that's all the information I have to share with you. That's what she told me. That's what, that's what I got for okay, you. Okay, you'll have to report back though. You'll have to ask her if she know, remembers anything else from that, and we'll report back. Okay, I'll do my best. Uh, Unless she's like, "Don't talk, don't fucking talk to me, nerd." In which <laughs> case, uh, we're kind of shit out of luck, aren't we? Yeah, I guess so. Fuck it. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe we'll bring her on. I don't know. Yeah. Fuck it. Next Halloween, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, a year later update on this one video. No, nah, but no, nah, she's got plenty of stories. Fuck it. Oh, um, hey, that's not a bad idea. Oh, yeah, I oh. think, I don't know. Does your, uh, just offhand, do, do your parents or your brother, do you know, if, have they shared anything with you? <sighs> you know, the best I have for like, like stories like that that I've been told is my dad has a weird amount of alien stories. What? <laughs> okay, he, and this is news to me. What the fuck? What are you talking about, well, dude? a weird amount. He's a couple. He's like a handful, but he, he's told me a lot of stories, a lot, me and like two. Uh, yes, three. a lot. Sorry, uh, the right. quantitative measure. Is I'm worth. trying not to oversell it, right? Uh-huh. By like being like, "Oh yeah, my dad, you know, he's he worked at Area 51, right?" <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, like equivalent of my dad worked at Nintendo. Um, but he's told me stories about like like when he was living in Arizona, how he had this strange encounter where, um, well, he was like just out. He was just out hanging out in the backyard or whatever of the house they lived in at the time. And I think he was like in his like thirties at this point. Like he was not, he was not like our age. He was he was older. Mm-hmm. Um, but he like come back to visit his parents and um, his sister or his sister's friend, something like that, was also there. And they were basically on opposite ends of this house. Like he was in the backyard and she was like in the front yard or something like that. I'm butchering a lot of this. Right. But he remember he was looking up and he saw like these huge flashes of light, just like floating on by yeah just hanging out just doing their thing i think he described it as a uh uh, a big old ball of fire mijo you know like just (laughs) just like this big but basically it's like a big old light Uh. and it freaked him the f out freaked him the fuck out and he was just not gonna say anything and then like i guess it was like two weeks later um his sister his sister's friend whoever it was had mentioned it to him and he's like wait you, you saw that too? And she's like, Jose, you better not be fucking with me. And he's like, no, I, I saw it as well. And they freaked each other out by both having seen it. But I also mean, because I guess maybe there was like an event where a lot of people reported seeing a giant ball of light in Arizona roughly at that time. Wasn't that on the news? Or? I don't know. I swear. I've heard of many events like this. Yes. <laughs> but like, I just remember hearing it. And coincidentally... I, I kid you not, coincidentally, when I was in college at one point, I had a professor who was also in Arizona. <laughs> I'm not fucking with you. I'm not fucking with you. Oh, he was really? in Arizona, roughly the same area, roughly the same time, and he was driving down the highway, and he noticed a bunch of people were stopped off on the side of the highway. And so he was, let, you know, being like, what, what the hell's going on, had also stopped his car and was like, what's going on? And I guess the guy just pointed and he looked up and they all collectively saw this huge ball of light moving across. And he was a very skeptic. He, I got to I got to I got to preface this. This professor of mine, because my dad, you know, he's my dad, you know, or he could be trying to mess with me or whatever. Yeah. But my professor, he his like whole thing was that he's the skeptic yeah. of the school. Like he's the fun. Te- he's the fun professor, but he's also very deadpan. And so he told me this story as like, I don't know if I'm not saying they were aliens. I'm not saying they were ghosts. I have a special category in my life called the what the fuck category. And that went right in there because I have no idea what happened. Uh And then it was like after he told me I made the connection of like, oh, my God, wait a minute. Did they both see the exact same thing? And to this day, see, two different people are telling me about the same event. And I think there's like a thing that happened in Arizona at the time. So that's definitely one of those, like, I can't explain that. And that's kind of creepy moments. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, I don't know what feasible explanation you can have for there to be a really large ball of, like, traveling light. Like, that so many people collectively can see. Mm-hmm. 
you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna have maybe I'll let, find an article or something. I can throw this in the description if I can find something that relates. But yeah, it's just super weird, just mm. super weird. But like that's like the only like secondhand story I really got because me and my brother we don't experience anything. My mom she's got nothing. We're boring people, but my dad he's 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 a G. Yeah. Also, my mom has stories too, but she really? they're more paranormal too. Mm. I don't I haven't heard of any like alien stories from anyone in the family like at all. <sighs> See. Alien stories are weird to me, though, because, like, like okay, I guess I got to ask this at the, the front. Do you believe in aliens? Do you believe in the possibility? I, of aliens? I believe in the possibility. Yes. Okay, that's how I feel, too. Yeah. Do you believe they visited us? No. Same. I really don't. Like, I believe, like, like probability speaking, totally out there. Mm-hmm. In some way, shape, or form, there's, like, another form of life out there. Yeah. Because of, like, just the sheer amount of planets and stars and, like space yeah but like the idea of like yeah we've been visited i'm like no shut up stop (laughs) yeah stop and like all that shit with like roswell and like area 51 to me there are very reasonable explanations for all that and and i can boil it down to to two words government (laughs) cover-up like that's it that's all there is to it Uh uh-huh you know they're either it's a new plane they didn't want people to know about you know like it's not complicated to me But then I hear stories like that, and so many other people are confirming. I'm like, I don't know what that can be. Mm-hmm. So it make it does make me wonder, but I'm still pretty pretty um, skeptical. Yeah, yeah, but I think I think that's the fun of it, you know. It is the that's, fun of it, right? It, it, the things that don't have an explanation, you know, you're oh, you always want the answer, mm-hmm. but sometimes you just you just don't have you, it. You just don't have it, and that's. But in a way, isn't that like the least satisfying part about those stories to me? That, to you. that there is no answer there is no answer and that's what bothers me about it well again that's just that's just the fun of it you know i guess if, if you get an answer just like yay but then the magic's gone because you found out oh the voice that's that true. we just heard was just fucking paul being a dumbass <laughs> in apartment two you know so <laughs> i don't know it was so it was the person next door watching tv really loudly ah and they were watching ghost adventures <laughs> <laughs> ah that makes sense uh so yeah you know what you convinced me that's that's not fun that's yeah. actually really lame yeah so i don't know it me personally it's i i'm very skeptical i yeah it's fun telling stories when i'm alone in my house and when you're gone i'm gonna sleep good tonight worrying <laughs> who the f- the fuck was that noise i just heard at five in the morning see i definitely i definitely do get paranoid though yes i do but i extremely get paranoid i really wish you leave late but oh well <laughs> <laughs> like uh like i definitely get that and i think that's something everybody can relate to is like oh, even yeah. even i don't even though i don't believe in like ghosts and aliens and all that they still get me on edge yes which is very interesting to me like mm-hmm. it still triggers whatever that like fear responses because i remember one time i was just on the phone with a friend of mine and uh uh, she gets paranoid like we do too and we were just like just talking about weird creepy stuff like just whatever and by the end of it we both had wound each other up so much that on the phone we're just like i really wish we didn't have this conversation (laughs) now i really wish we could go back like an hour and just like just undo this just have hung up or something <laughs> yeah and that was actually a really hard night to sleep so it's interesting how even though i'm too skeptical to believe in that there's still some shred of you that's just like oh fuck yeah. what what have i done yeah it's <laughs> weird right it's weird how that happens <sighs> yeah i don't you know look. i think it's even worse too when you live on your own yes absolutely because like it, i haven't felt like that since i've like come back to live with my parents for a while is like i don't i don't get those paranoid fits anymore it's only when I'm alone. And I know for when I lived in my apartment, it was mostly because like, what if something happened and I'm by myself? But now, cause, cause in that, in that scenario, like I'm thinking like the logistics of like, I don't know, I choke it. I choke on like a piece of food and like no one finds me for like two weeks. Mm-hmm. Like that's terrifying, but that's like a very real terrifying. Yeah. I know since now I live with people again, when I'm like left alone, like everybody's out of the house and I get paranoid. It's like, Oh my God. I'm going to die and then they're just going to come and find me. And it's like, it's a weirdly different sensation. Yeah. It's very different. Mm -hmm. And I think that's somehow very normal too. Are you getting paranoid? Are you getting the spookies? No. (laughs) (laughs) No. I think the only real factor I have, the only thing that just worries me about being alone is, you know, someone breaking in. 
That's true, too. But, I mean, I always just comfort myself knowing the fact that I'm in a fucking big neighborhood in a very oddly placed house. Nothing sticks out about it. It all mm-hmm. blends in. See, someone, w- someone has to specifically target mm-hmm. my house in, in order to, like, get something out of well, it. And what's nice, too, about, like, about your place is because you guys actually park, like, in your garage. Yeah. Like, so someone, even if they're, like, watching it, it's hard to tell from just, like, the outside alone if someone's home. Yeah. <laughs> so it would it would make it a risky target. It would yeah, make it a risky. Target. It's such an inconvenient target, real, realistically speaking, yes. doing criminal psychology here. But mm-hmm. there's there's no benefit of getting this one house yeah. in where it's not even like a through street, you mm-hmm. know, to get to like, you know, major street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have you have to like Deviate. make your way. Yeah. To go through here. Yeah. So it's such a unlikely. Honestly, thing. I think those people a couple doors down that have that big ass boat are at a bigger risk than yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> that new big ass boat they got. Yeah. yeah. Like to me, that screams, oh shit, they got money. All right. Hang on. Yeah. Fuck all these other houses. But yeah, I still get paranoid if I hear like noises in the back or whatever. I'm just of like, course. get the gun. <laughs> the gun that I don't own. The gun you don't <laughs> own. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to cover a little bit of uh, our Ghost Adventures esque. Uh, trip that you brought up. Uh, what do you? You said you want to do. Oh, I said we should do hunt. a video where we go ghost hunting. Do you mean like parody, or are you being legit serious? I don't know. I I think that's something we'd have to figure out as we do it, right? But I could think that I could see that being kind of a fun video. Oh, so you know, I've always I've always wanted to do like a, a abandoned exploration. Oh, stuff. urban exploration. Yeah. See that kind of that shit kind of does scare me a little bit, but. Does it scare you for the same reason it scares me? Well, why does it scare you? The reason why it, it terrifies me is not for the paranormal stuff, not for going through, mm-hmm. you know, whatever bullshit. Mm-hmm. I'm scared of who's in there. Yes. That's what <laughs> scares me about it. I'm not, I don't give a fuck about the ghost or the fucking worn out building that might collapse any second. No. I'm worried about the fucking drug, the drug dude that's in there who might kill me. Yeah, who now we found his spot, and he's like, well, I can't let you leave. See, that's that shit that scares me, and why I would never do, like, urban exploration on my own. Yeah. But, like, like with, like, another person, it's kind of different. Jacob, I don't know how this would... I, I'm, a, I'm a skinny 130-pound boy. I, I'm not going to do shit. Well, because you don't have my plan in mind, where I just throw how, you at them, we... and I say, take him instead, and I run. Oh, I thought you were going to say we were going to pack heat, but instead you'd do that, so... yeah. Are Sorry. You, are you going to pack heat? No, I'm just going to throw you at them. Oh, so you're going to run away? Yes. Oh. Okay. You're my scapegoat. <laughs> That's why I'm not going by myself. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you're bringing this up now so I can just deny any future trips. <laughs> uh, oh, well. But uh, but I don't know. Because, like, I think the – I don't know. Maybe I would feel different about, like, ghost hunting in general if I did it one time. Mm. But also, that sounds a little expensive. <laughs> yeah. A friend of mine actually went to a haunted hotel, I believe, in Reno. Oh, really? Yeah, and he did the. They actually did a documentary on, um, like, their whole ghost experience. I'm not too sure, but I know they went to a supposedly haunted hotel. Mm-hmm. And my friend, he actually went in like three times. I believe he told me mm-hmm. just to do like three different sessions by himself in a room in mm-hmm. the haunted hotel room. Oh, really? Or in the most uh, active mm-hmm. room, and he didn't hear shit. <laughs> <laughs> so. I don't know, but everyone else in the group kind of heard something, I believe. Really? And he was just the only one that didn't hear anything. So that so um in the town where I near near where I used to live in uh in South Dakota, the town nearby called Deadwood. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's it's basically like like western South Dakota's Las Vegas. Mm. It's like the basically the main gambling like town in that area, right? Yeah. But in part of the town there's a there's a really old house called the Adams House. And I had a couple of friends who did, who were because we're all in the film program. They did a documentary there, and they actually dragged me to go visit one time. And part of it being like this is like one of the most haunted places, like not in the world, but like I don't know. It's very active. It's very active. Yes, that mm-hmm. is the word for it. And we went on a whole tour, and we toured through the whole place, and man. I was like, what the fuck is the point of coming in here? It was just, this is nothing happened. Mm. Nothing happened. It was just a really old kind of bummy house. Uh, but it had like a whole gift shop and everything too. Like, 
Yeah. Uh, I, I never actually got to see the documentary, but apparently like it is a place that gets a ton of activity. And I mean, you know, I, I'm sure my friends listen to this too. So you, maybe you have a different experience. Please comment. But like, <laughs> please comment, please. I need engagement. Uh, <laughs> we need it. But, uh, you know, like I just, I was just walked away being like, oh, that's. But, th- but did you stay the night? No, we didn't stay the night. You Maybe did, that like, is tour. the difference. Yeah, we just because did I tour. Because I think my friend actually did stay the night. Really? Because apparently like, the place we went was so active that y- people experienced stuff during the tours all the time. Interesting. Yeah. 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 And like they even like have notable rooms of like this room gets like it's common for this to happen in this room. You know, I guess that would be possible not to do for if we did quote on if we did if we did actually do this, mm-hmm. it would have to be at a, a known location. Yeah, because I don't feel like going to a fucking abandoned asylum, and and, and no one searched through the building. Yeah. That is the only huge concern I have. I would be totally down if we did a ghost adventures esque thing, <laughs> but we got to have security on site or something. Well, see, I do wonder though if the people who work at places like that are so fucking over like. Oh my God! They brought their EV EVP meters. Or... Well, we're not going to do that because that's expensive. It is expensive. The box, the spirit box, are like six hundred bucks. I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> we're gonna get like a shitty like, uh, you know, the things you use to record like your professor's lectures. We're gonna do that, <laughs> and we're just gonna fuck around. I do know, um, like, I one of the things that does bother me about ghost hunting though is I do know one of the more popular like, um, recorders that people use, like that people are like, oh, this is like. Like, this, this is the gadget right like here. This is the gadget here. Is also as a, like an audio guy, it is one of the fucking worst <laughs> recorders you can possibly. Well, buy. because it makes a lot of noise, doesn't it? It picks up everything. Well, that's probably. Hey, that kind of revolves back into the the, the evidence I showed you. You know, mm-hmm. it's like you know, quote, it's a spirit box. I don't know why I'm using quote unquote so much today. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's like a spirit box. You know, you you pick out things, and that's why. The background like, noise is probably so. Yeah, but I mean, like this recorder, it even like it makes excessive noise when you pick it up and you handle it. Yeah, too. So that's like where like it's getting a bunch of noise. Anyway, point being, I think a lot of the evidence comes out just because people's equipment is shitty. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But I, I think the experience with us is more of just how we handle a creepy situation. True. And I think that would be the entertainment value of it. I think that would be entertainment value. And I think it would just be how. I don't know. I, don't, I, don't I like know how we're bringing part of our meet, our weekly meeting into the actual recording as like content. <laughs> we make our work work for us, Jacob. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> oh shit! Did you have anything else you want to cover this week? <sighs> no, I think. Do you have any other experiences I, to share? No, not really, man. I've I think not, I, I think I'm like out of spookies, man. I'm out. Of, I'm out of spookies too. Mm-hmm. I can. I can only say. Yes, I do. I want to share. <laughs> I want to share one more. We're, this is how we'll end it. Okay, cool. So Sorry. I actually send it home. Holy shit! I can't believe I forgot about this. Um, so this was here actually, but this is a real story. Uh, this and is something as that was, the others were fake. Well, it, this is something that was like you know not. Uh, it, it, it was real, like wh- how you said it. It was oh shit real, you know. Oh, oh, like it re- it was really real. Like yeah, it was yeah, too yeah. real. Yeah, 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 yeah okay, yes, okay. exactly. Okay. Okay, so I was in my room at the time. This was like 2, 4 in the morning, maybe? Wait, how long ago was this? This was three years ago. I oh, okay. Wow, that's so pretty this was recent, pretty. <laughs> oh, my, I was about to do it again. I was about to say it, quote, unquote. So this was almost recently. Anyways, I was in, <sighs> I was in my closet, right? And we'll get to this another day. But I had my... For, for context, his closet used to be a recording studio for him to record stuff in. Yes. And this is where I used to record. Anyway, <laughs> I was in the closet, right? hmm <sighs> Whatever. And I started hearing... Uh, I heard moaning, right? Mm-hmm. Like the actual stereotypical like ghost moaning. Like... Oh. <laughs> and I, I was like, the fuck? And I was wearing headphones, right? And I kept hearing this moaning. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, maybe it's just the game or whatever. Mm-hmm. I wasn't, it wasn't such a huge deal. Yeah. But I kept hearing this moaning. And I was like, okay, what the fuck? Is this, I had to take my headphones off. Like, is this from my computer? Is this like, what's going outside? On? What's going on? Yeah. And I still kept hearing it. And I was like, Ooh. oh shit, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. But it, I had my door closed too for the room. 
at the time as well. Mm -hmm. So it, it was kind of really muffled and, you know, mm -hmm. it, it was coming outside of, of my room. That's all I knew. Ooh. So I, I went to like next to my bed and I still kept hearing it. So I was like, okay, is it coming from outside or is it coming from inside the house? A very important distinction. To so make I look outside my window and, you know, I have my eyes, eyes peeled and I heard it from behind me towards my door. Ooh. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck, <laughs> what is happening? Ooh. Oh, shit. So I go to my door. I keep hearing the moaning and I'm like, oh, God damn it. I open my door very, very carefully because there's two options here. Yeah. Either it is coming from like the living room. And my the scenario was like, oh, shit, someone's inside the house. And I guess jerking off. Like, I don't know why they'd be moaning. But... Or I don't know. I thought it was some drug some oh, crack person. Yeah, that's kind of even scary for different reasons. Yeah. And option B was it was coming from my mom's room for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is not pleasurable moaning. I just want to clearly state that before you get any sick thoughts, you weirdos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this was so. This is like pained moaning. Yes, it was pain moaning. Mm -hmm. So I opened the door very slowly. And I could hear it coming from my right side, which is my mom's room. Yeah. And Down I the was hall. like, oh, fuck. Well, option A is off the table, but option B, and it hasn't gone any better. Mm -hmm. So I go. Feasibly worse. Feasibly worse, right? So I go down the hallway, and I hear the moaning just like, uh, uh, and I'm like, oh, fuck, what do I do? Because she locks her door. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, oh, fuck, is there someone in there? Mm -hmm. like choking her or something like what's something happened? what's going on i and i have to kind of act quickly here like is she choking or what's going on oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck mm -hmm. and i still hear it and i start banging on the door just like mama mom are you are you okay like mm -hmm. what's going on you know mm -hmm. and it's still kind of she's still moaning i'm like mom you gotta you gotta talk to me what's going on like if you don't do anything if you don't tell me i have to break down the door <laughs> You know, if you could break down her door, well, I can break it down. It's just wood, whatever, <laughs> no big deal. But uh, actually, she, she like, she stops moaning, and I could hear her get up out of bed, and it was like, oh okay, she was having some really fucked up nightmare, and she opened the door and she's like, hey, you know, and I asked like, oh, are you, are you okay? What what happened? What's, mm -hmm. you know, just want to make sure everything was okay. You were moaning. She's like, oh yeah, I was just having a nightmare. Oh, she's having night terrors. Yeah, she was having like a really fucked up nightmare. And I guess she didn't, she doesn't like to talk about like negative experiences on her end. But mm -hmm. from what I've heard over like the past couple of days afterwards was just, I guess she was getting chased by some figure. Oh, and I man, think that's, that's like fucked. a recurring nightmare for her. Oh, that's fucked. And she doesn't like to like talk about things like that. That's so fair. I haven't, I, I don't know the specifics, but that's all I know is that she was getting chased. And yeah, that's why she was, that's the only time she's ever like acted out audibly. So, yeah. I think she was in that in-between state where you're like kind of partially awake, but you're oh. still having like active imaginations. See, and, that shit fucks with me, man. That's yeah, scary. Yeah. That, and that was like my, my adrenaline was like full peak. I was ready to like fucking just. Cause if it's, if, because ass. if it's pain bony, it's like, you don't know what's going on. Then. Yeah. Like, I didn't, I didn't know. Like I, I wasn't stabbed. Sure. Is she like dying? Like, yeah, what's going like, on here? I, I only have like few seconds to act here but i don't want to fucking bust down the door just like oh my my bad <laughs> you were just having a nightmare you know yeah well so. you don't want to overreact see that's like that social polite level of like i don't know what's the appropriate response here because yeah. it's not like like defcon 5 where it's just like okay all <laughs> all social norms are out i'm kicking down the door i'm taking my mom to the hospital yeah but we were at defcon 4 for sure like yeah once yeah. i opened the door you know i need to take it assess the situation is she still in bed no one here okay then she still breathing what's going on yeah we're still at defcon 4 yeah and then yeah. once i finally see her in person i can you know then i'll then we can lower it or raise it to defcon oh uh, man see that's that see i think real world scary stuff like that's even worse than like we that's the re that's reality you know yeah. like because i mean like like having a family member just like croak on you like that that's 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 real that's real horrific and that's not fun scary that's just sad that, scary yeah that's that's fucked up scary oh know? man i'm sorry i would experienced that i hope she's doing a lot better now i hope she doesn't have that nightmare anymore uh well <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no it has she hasn't had audible things but i know she she has tr not trouble sleeping i just know she has some bad experiences mm. like 
I, very, very quick. I know how I, I said I was going to end it, but she actually had a really rough experience after her mom passed away. Oh, that's how, so sad. How she kind of woke up and she actually believed she saw death. Like, whoa. The Green Reaper. Like, she whoa. thought it, she was, she thought it was her turn next. Whoa. And that's kind of fucked her up mentally. Not that I'm saying, like, she's a different person. It, it but messes with you. Yeah, it, it, it kind of messed with her thoughts, but. Mm. Yeah, she she saw the she saw the Grim Reaper. To be to be fair, this is also the lady where I had like one of the like the second or third time like my real like interacting with her. We talked about her mom dying, how she's like, Yeah, you know, just like just like I don't really care how you bury me, but just don't do X or Y. I forget what she said. And I made a joke of like, Well, that kinda narrows out everything. <laughs> yeah, so what said, do you want? A sky burial? Yeah. <laughs> she said, Don't bury me or cremate me. And I was, yeah, and I was like, well. And she kept kind of narrowing it down and just like, what do we, I don't know what to do. What's left then? Yeah, what's left. That's like the main two. <laughs> yeah, right? And I, I made the joke like, well, do you want a sky barrel? You want me picked apart by birds? And she's like, no, that sounds awful. I don't want that. Well, damn, I don't know. I don't know what you want. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what we settled on for her, but it was just like, that's, that's weird. Yeah. That's weird. That's a good thing she doesn't have a choice in that when she goes. That's Her kids got to deal with that. Yep. <laughs> yeah it sure is sorry mama ben hope you don't listen to this <laughs> yeah enjoy your trip <laughs> yeah but yeah uh that's that's what i've got for that's it you tapped out that's you got nothing left for me that's all i've got all right well i guess we're gonna have to like wrap it up right there then aren't we mm -hmm. anyway right. so uh i guess what we'll the end of, end of the podcast spiel thank you guys so much for listening once again sorry we kind of missed two weeks yeah sorry um, but we're gonna be back at it yeah we got more stuff for you i planned. hate i hate we missed a couple weeks right as we're like starting out that feels that feels lazy but life just happens like that you know yeah that's just life but we, uh i can't say we promise but we'll, we're gonna do our best to mm -hmm, mm -hmm. provide you more resource routine goodness yeah you know, you know we've got to, we got live streams going on in case you didn't yeah know. yeah yeah uh, url is twitch.tv forward slash resource underscore 13 please check us out we stream on weekends um sometimes it's jacob and me sometimes it's only me <clears throat> and that's all i got so for i you. love this man he always got the plug ready no. but uh you know follow us on uh on uh twitter you know instagram we got, uh tiktok yep oh we have tiktok yeah, yeah we, we have tiktok, TikTok. Um, uh, please like subscribe if you like our content mm -hmm. uh, we haven't been <laughs> really uh, asking for you we haven't been doing call to action so we're going to start doing that now yeah we don't even do that in our videos really yeah, we no, really need to get better about that actually marketing psychologically actually tells us that we should uh, I don't know why I'm telling you this in front of the public but you know <laughs> but yeah. but anyway you know like I said we're trying to get better we're really trying to find a schedule for this yeah you, you know, know. Uh, I was going to ask you uh, whenever we had our meeting afterwards but fuck it you know if you have any questions for us please do let us know yeah, I think, I'm actually curious what you think about us. Like, is there anything you want to know about us personally? Is there any experiences you want us to share? If you want to know us, we're open books pretty much. Yeah, just uh, you know, let us know in the comments. Fuck it, you know, we mm -hmm. want to we want to get to know you, our audience as well. Mm -hmm. Our but, very limited, very <laughs> small audience. Hey, hey, fuck it. If you comment it, it's gonna it's gonna boost up our algorithm. So if you give a shit about us, do it. I don't care what, just fuck it. <laughs> you, anyway, thanks yeah. again so much, guys, for listening, and we'll see you guys. We'll see you next week. Yep, we'll see you guys next week. Say bye bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.